So the power went out on my data east pinball machine. I replaced the board, power board, with one from Rotten Dog Amusements. And now I have a buzz that comes from this card, the sound card, when I turn the machine on. We're going to fix that today. The tools you're going to need for this project are a power supply, wire strippers, wire connectors, electrical tape, an electrical cable, multimeter, and miscellaneous tools. You're going to start with the 24 pin power supply connector and you're going to remove the green wire and connect it internally to one of the black wires inside the power supply. This one has already been done. You're going to figure out with your multimeter which wires are positive and negative 12 volts. The black ones are going to be ground, but you can check, check those against ground. And you're also going to find the 5 volt, which should be a red one. On this particular power supply, they were negative 12 is blue, positive 12 is gray, black is ground, and red was 5 volts. Cut the plug end off of your cable, and with what's left, expose the wiring. Next, remove the connector from the power supply that goes to this big transformer and make some slack in this wire as well. We're going to tap to the ground of this but we're going to use this one right here so that our power supply works with the switch at the bottom of the case. Here we have the cable wired in, white to white, black to black, and I'm going to use the ground on the chassis for the green. We've connected the power cable. You can see the connectors right here. All the wires are back where they belong. And now I'm going to test the power supply with this end. The buzz is still here as expected. But what I'm feeling for is air coming out of the power supply. I know the power supply is good. By the way, if you do get one, make sure you've got it set up properly. This is the United States, so I'm at 115. If you want to talk to an electrician and have them do this, then have them do it. So the next thing to do is to take these outputs, which are live now, and connect them to the sound card. I was able to mount the power supply in the case using a couple screws. There's a couple slots in the back of the power supply. The wire comes off of this one goes through that clip, down, and there's actually a pressure fit under that. So I have in order 5 volts ground, negative 12 volts, and 12 volts. Those are coming from the power supply, and they're going to go up into the case and into the soundboard. The four wires have been fed through this duct and are ready for connection to the board. That's 5 volts, ground, negative 12, and all the way to the end, 12. Once more, for old time's sake. You can hear that buzz quite a bit. Let's see what we can do about it. And now for the test with the new power supply. There's still barely a low-pitched hum. I saw maybe a few places where I could have actually hooked my 12 volt, 5 volt, negative 12 and ground. But this helps the sound quite a bit. These wires come from underneath, come from an old power supply, and they provide 
5 volts, ground, negative 12, and 12 volts respectively, replacing the wires that were originally there.